Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in signals and systems. On this lecture, we will consider the properties of DTFS and to be precise, the fifth property of DTFS, which is nothing but the modulation. So, again, we shall consider first the definition, the statement of modulation. Later, we will consider the proof for the same. So, let me consider the definition of modulation. The statement goes something like this If the discrete time signal x of n leads to so i would write if x of n leads to x of k by taking the dtfs so let me write x of n leads to x of k by taking a dtfs and i would consider another signal which is nothing but y of n this also leads to y of k again by taking the dtfs of this Correct? Then, then I would consider a new signal Z of n uh, which is equal to X of n getting multiplied with Y of n leads to what? So that I need to consider DTFS of this is equal to Z of n leads to Z of k. So this we know it equal to X of k convolved this is circularly convolved with y of k so what we are doing here is the another statement for this could be multiplication in time domain is equal to convolution in frequency domain is that okay so i would say that multiplication in time domain multiplication in time domain is transformed to convolution of dtfs coefficients x of k and y of k are DTFS coefficients. So, I would say uh, convolution of DTFS coefficients. Is that okay? So, now uh, we shall consider the proof for the same. So, what could be the proof for this? So, we know that Z of k which is equal to. So, I could write the definition uh, for this using the DTFS. The straight formula which we know it very well. 1 over n summation n over the range capital N I have uh, z of n e to the power minus j k omega naught n correct so now what I do is in place of z of n I will substitute for x of n into y of n is that okay so I would consider 1 over n summation n so this is over the range capital N. I said Z of N. I would substitute it as X of N getting multiplied with Y of N. Later I have this exponential term as it is e to the power minus J K omega naught N. Correct? So now what could be X of N? Again from the definition of DTFS we know that. So let me write. Oh, we know that X of N. So this is equal to summation so i would consider the variable l because i already have the variable n so now if, uh, let me consider the new variable small l over the range uh, capital n which is equal to x of l x of l e to the power j k omega naught uh, it is not uh, k it must be l so I just replace that. So it is uh, e to the power j l omega naught n. Correct? So now this is the definition of x of n. So now what I do is I'll substitute this in the above expression. Substituting. So let me write substituting x of n. Substituting x of n in the above in the previous ex in the previous expression in the previous so let me write expression so what i am going to get if i substitute for x of n so let me write z of k is equal to so i would write z of k is equal to 1 over n so this term I'll write it as it is summation n over the range capital N 
now if i have x of n so i will substitute for x of n so what is x of n which is equal to summation l over the range capital n so now i have this x of l e to the power j l omega not n this gets multiplied with the rest of the terms rest i have y of n so let me write that y of n into the exponential term so let me write exponential term e to the power minus j k omega not n correct so now i need to simplify this uh, further so how do i simplify this further for that i have got two uh, summations whenever i got two summations i need to change the order of uh, summation so let me write changing changing the order of summation changing the order of summation so let me check that if i change the order of summation what i'm going to get so i'm going to get here z of k is equal to so i would write a 1 over n summation first i'll write this uh, uh, summation that is l over the range capital n x of l so i would write this first and rest of the terms later that is summation n equal to this is over the range capital n and uh, what i have uh, now i have a uh, y of n and i'm left with the two exponential terms they look almost uh, similar and i can take few of the terms out so i can take e to the power uh, minus j as well as omega not n out omega not n what i'm left with here i am left with k here i'm left with l so i would write k minus l correct so now i can simplify this further and i would write 1 over n summation so this is l over the range capital n i have x of l and what is this equal to so this also looks like the expression of dtfs which is there in terms of y of n so it must be in terms of capital y of something so what is there so this if it is l i would get y of l in place of l i have k minus l hence i would get y of k minus l here as well is, is that okay so this is what it gets reduced to so ultimately 1 over n summation x of l into y of k minus l what is this equal to this is nothing but the expression of the convolution so ultimately i would write x of k circularly convolved with y of k is that is that okay only thing is uh, i think we made a small mistake that is uh, uh, this is nothing but this term y of k minus l this gets multiplied with n as well because this is equal to y of k minus l equal to 1 over n into this term 1 over n is not there hence i would multiply it and ultimately this n and this n would cancel and i'm going to get summation of x of l y of k minus l this leads to the circular convolution is that okay so ultimately if we proved z of k is equal to x of k circularly convolved with y of k so i would write hence the proof hence the proof so this is nothing but the modulation property of for dtfs and there is another uh, very uh, a very good statement for this i would say multiplication in time domain is equal to convolution of their frequency the uh, fourier series dtfs coefficients so in the exam they may ask that prove that multiplication in time domain is equal to convolution of dtfs coefficients is it is nothing but the modulation property of dtfs so one should not get confused both are the same i have explained this uh, derivation and the property uh, step by step i hope you people have understood if there are still any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section i would definitely address those doubts meanwhile subscribe to our channel ng classes for more videos in signals and systems till then thank you everyone for watching